Happy Tuesday, my beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. What are we talking about today on this beautiful, beautiful Tuesday? Wonderful question. Yesterday we talked about karmetic debt, right? And this is a real thing. And here's the thing about real things. It doesn't really require your belief. Whether you believe it or doesn't or don't believe it, that's entirely up to you. But it's a reality. So too is what I'm about to share with you, the power of visualization. Your ability to see what is not yet here. <laughs> Now we're talking about, is it that what the scripture says faith is? Faith is the substance of things hoped for and not yet seen. And how do you see anything that you hope for? You visualize it in your mind. You picture it in your mind as if it's already there. And the clearer you can get this picture, the clearer it is. I'll give you a perfect example. My company is in the process of building a 20,000 square foot building. It's going to be the building that crushes any other building where real estate is done in the world or in, in our area, right? It, the building is not physically here yet, but it's already all done. It's already created. Right now, if you were to come to my office, I can show you the entire building from start to finish. I've walked through the building a thousand times. I could tell you where everything is located right now, and it's not here. I can tell you, hey, this is where you're going to find this. This is where you're going to find that. This is where you're going to find this. This is where this is. This is where that is. I actually, right now, as I'm talking to you, I see myself sitting in the gym because we have an entire gym in this building. Most people, the ones that have zero understanding, they will call you crazy. They'll say, this man is nuts. Oh man, they have zero understanding. Nothing that's ever been created was created outside of what you call thought or thoth. You always, anything you do, you first visualize it in your mind regardless. You may not be aware that you are doing this, but you are doing this. Imagine you became uh, aware of this great power. Your life would look different. Everything about you would look different. You would visualize everything about yourself, thereby law of attraction, attracting it to yourself when there's no doubt. Because I gotta warn you, doubt is, you cannot have doubt in these type of things. And, and I was talking to a friend of mine one day, uh, 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 someone that I mentor, and I said, man, imagine your perfect life. He's like, well, it's going to cost so much. And my rebuttal with him was, even in your imagination, you're worried about money? Don't you see how you've been framed? How you've been so indoctrinated? Even in your own mind, you're worrying about money, a place that's completely free. If money wasn't a problem, what would your life look like? This is visualization. Well, I, I don't want a plane because that's going to cost too much. This is the imaginary place. It's going to cost too much. Come on. In your own mind, even in your own mind, things cost too much. If in your own mind, Things cost too much. How in the hell do you expect them for, for them not to cost too much in the physical reality? You can change your life around today by beginning to visualize the life that you want. Now, here's the reason why it doesn't manifest for so many people. And they say, ah, this doesn't work. They do not have the discipline of consistency. You see the car that you see the car that I'm driving in right right now. Dream cars, and I have many dream cars that I enjoy. Right, I buy this Mercedes, and I don't owe a penny on it. Right, eighty-five thousand dollars. It's completely paid off. I don't owe a penny on it. 
before I had the money to buy a Mercedes like this, I used to, I, and I had another car at the time, I used to be driving down the road and, and literally be seeing this Mercedes emblem right before me the way I'm seeing it right now. I would see the emblem, I would uh, I'd be excited about it, I'd be like, man, I'm gonna have the black one. The same exact car you see me driving in right now, I created in my mind before. I can show you in my book where I already created this years ago. So me driving in this Mercedes today is nothing new to me. I already been driving it in my mind for a long time. I already been driving it in my mind before I even had the money to drive it. Does that make sense to you? I created this. This didn't come to me by accident. This, this didn't come to me by happenstance. I created it in my mind. This is what you don't understand about the frontier of your mind, how powerful it is to bring about change positively, negatively, or whatever you, you want in your life. Now, the reason why it's bringing about negative uh, things in your life, because you are not the captain of your ship. You are not the master of your soul. You don't sit at the helm of your mind. You're letting other people program it for you. Why do you think marketing companies spend millions upon millions of dollars to get you to think about their product? Because they, the minute they, they, they are in your mind, it's like a, 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 a car that can drive for itself. It will do what they would have it do. This is, this is, you can study this. This is not, I'm not being a, a, a conspiracy theorist. This is what they do. Why not use the same vast power for yourself, for your health, for your wealth, right? You can do the same, but you don't have the discipline. Bright and bright and you know, I have so many bills to pay and you want me to sit down and visualize? You have so many bills to pay, you can't afford not to sit down and visualize. You can't afford to keep going on the way you're going if you knew if what you were doing were, was working, you wouldn't be in the situation you were now. Isn't it time to try something different? And I'm telling you, for many of you, it will not manifest or it will manifest very little because you don't have the consistency. If it doesn't come in a month, this doesn't work. If it doesn't come in two months, this doesn't work. If it doesn't come in three months, this doesn't work. Now, for example, the building I'm building right now, I've budgeted $5 million for this building, right? And I'm going to build it all cash, paid out. I'm not gonna owe anything to anybody, right? Do you expect a 20,000 square foot building, $5 million to appear in one day? You don't appear that when you plant seeds on the ground. You don't expect that when you impregnate your wife. You don't expect that with any other thing. If you start building a house today, right? You built the foundation. You don't, you don't expect for the roof, for the drywall, for the sheetrock, for the, for the wiring, electricity. You don't expect for that to be built in a day. Yet you expect for things of the imagination to be here in a day. What kind of a fool can you be? You can have literally whatever you want in the earth. You never have to taste poverty again. You never have to be without again. So too, if you have the discipline to go in your mind and create the life that you want. And guess what? Look how much freedom that gives you. You don't have to wait for your boss to give you a raise. You don't have to wait for the economy to shift. You don't have to wait for anything or anyone. You can change your life whenever you freaking decide to. Go into your mind and create. You know me. I shine light in every dark corner. Happy, happy Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow morning, bright and early.